Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to my podcast. I call it The Chris Show. Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, Titanic Museum attraction. It's on 76 Country Music Boulevard across from the Clay Cooper Theater, and you can't miss it because it looks just like the Titanic. The unique attraction houses uh, collections of historical artifacts related to the ship's ill-fated attempt to uh, cross the Atlantic. Whether you're an aficionado of nautical history, a fan of the blockbuster movie, or interested in trying something new during your vacation, the museum offers plenty of interesting and unique experiences to enjoy during your visit. It opened back in 2006, and it goes to great lengths to transport passengers back in time to the original voyage in 1912. As you enter the museum, museum, each person is given a boarding pass featuring the name of an original passenger. You can try to find out more about your passenger as you move through the museum before discovering whether or not the uh, person actually survived the catastrophe at the end of your visit. It has a very personal aspect to what otherwise might seem like just a long distant event in history. As you move through the museum, you will climb through various sections of the ship, including many that are built to the actual scale of the original, like the uh, grand staircase, from the engine room to uh, cramped lower class quarters, and then up to more spacious just first class cabins. The uh, museum mixes detailed reproductions with actual artifacts and ephemera related to the ship. There are haunting original life preserver vests, personal letters, other items that have survived more than a century since the ship's collision with an iceberg. There are also a number of interactive exhibits designed to deepen your understanding of that night. Guests have the chance to sit in an actual sized lifeboat from the ship, dip their hand in minus 28 degree water, and attempt to maintain balance on different slopes of ground that reflect the angle of the ship as it cracked and sank. It's like, unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Like I said, it's on 76 Country Boulevard in Branson at the intersection of 76 and Holly 165. It's a few miles west of downtown. Near other local attractions like Ripley's, I'll talk about Ripley's in a little bit. And unless you're staying near the museum, driving is the easiest way to reach it. There is a parking lot of the museum with ample space for visitors. The hours vary throughout the years so it's recommended to confirm hours of operation before planning your visit by just going on the website. I got this, this information from uh, explorebranson.com. Okay, next up is the uh, Branson Aquarium on the boardwalk. It's all about fish and fun. There's the uh, submarine adventure guided by Aquarius the octopus and Finn the pufferfish. Step right up for an aquatic fun that well, you won't find anywhere else. Have your photo taken with a larger than life giant Pacific octopus on the boardwalk and see a real one too. Inside, take a 5D submarine ride to the bottom of the ocean. My sister and my niece went on that one last year. Get it by Aquarius the octopus and Finn the pufferfish, as I said a minute ago. And explore 10 zones of fish and finding your way back up to the surface. There's also the Jelly Infinity Room. Celebrate the boundless beauty of the moon jelly in the most unique way in the Branson Aquarium's Jelly Infinity Room. These bioluminescent beings are amazing to watch and even more incredible when you experience them glowing all around you in a color-changing environment that you can control. Get a vast view of a gorgeous coral reef teeming with tropical marine life. You'll marvel at the array of fish in their brilliant colors, all supported by their coral counterparts and catch a final glimpse of the sharks and rays that come gliding overhead. Discover a magical underwater palace where heroic mermaids safeguard the ocean's coral reefs. Their lovely fortress features two fun photo ops for wannabe mermaids and mermen to flaunt their tails, plus taking the mesmerizing sight of thousands of schooling sardines and herds of tiny seahorses in their own unique habitats. Look above your head and across the horizon to appreciate the gliding diving sight of stingrays 
and then under sea oasis. These bees travel in a school all around the grand aquarium, always curious to see you swimming below them and peeking into their world. Discover dozens of marvelous coral species that create a home for so many treasured animals. Take some time to watch as fish travel in and around the corals and peek through the nooks and crannies of their colorful forms. Corals are alive and give life to the oceans. The museum hopes that they'll, they will be inspired to help give coral reefs a chance to thrive in the future. Climb the new heights through the ocean's underwater towers of kelp and enjoy coloring a fish before it magically swims to life on a giant screen. The safe shelter of the kelp forest is represented in this playful zone designed especially for kids and the kid and you. Float out weightless, the feeling bliss through the endless saltwater sea. Here the pulsing waves and music connect you with a variety of colorful angelfish, butterfly fish, and damsels. This is also a lovely place to spot the Ocellaris clownfish. Yeah, you can find Nemo there. Touch poles. Now's your chance to dip your fingers into the water and make new fish friends. You'll be drowned by the feel of sandpaper rays, smooth sharks, and lumpy crabs, and delighted by the cold water surging tide pole filled with bumpy starfish and sticky and tentacled um, anemones. I think that's what that says. Anyway, it's got 250 animal species and uh, 7,200 individual sea animals. Alright, next up is the Hollywood Wax Museum. It's also on 76 Country Boulevard. Come play with the stars. Don't miss the Hollywood Wax Museum, a all famous tribute to your favorite stars. Get up close and personal and pose for selfies with uncanny celebrity likenesses and enjoy fun facts about their pets, pet peeves, and accomplishments. Movie buffs, pop culture lovers, and everyone who wants to step into the spotlight with the stars will enjoy the fun and artistry. Just look for the great app climbing the skyscraper on Highway 76. You'll be in the right place for a latest fun and great photo apps. For even more fun, purchase the Hollywood Vice Museum Entertainment Center All Access Pass. You can also see the uh, Castle of Chaos, Hannah's Maze of Mirrors, and shoot for the stars miniature golf. All right, next up we're going to the uh, Ship Direct Treasure Museum. I went there in 2020. It's at uh, Branson Landing. It has treasures, artifacts, and pirate booty. The artifacts that were found are from the uh, Civil War ship, the SS Republic. It has the largest Civil War treasure found. There's also the uh, 90,000 pounds of silver that were found on the uh, British uh, warship, the uh, SS Garisopi that was sunk by the Germans during World War II. Then there's the uh, Branson Auto and Farm Museum on Highway 76. I went there back in 2015. The Branson Auto and Farm Museum is two acres of vintage farm equipment and vehicles dating from the 1900s all the way to the 2000s. You're sure to find something that takes you back to your childhood and keeps you talking about the good old days for hours. Cars like the, uh, let's see here, 1955 DeSoto Firefight, the uh, 1991 Rolls Royce Silver Spur, the 1929 Ford Model A, double A dump truck that is, 1929 Chevrolet Pickup, a 1966 Oldsmobile 98, and 1926 Lincoln Coupe. It's also got a 1980 Mercedes, 80 Mercedes Benz 450 SL, 1966 uh, Chrysler Newport, 1932 Ford Pickup, 1941 Dodge Power Wagon, 1974 Plymouth Cuda, 1967 Dodge Cornet 440, 1950 Ford Business Coupe, 1934 Ford Custom Coupe with Trailer, 1983 Chevrolet El Camino, my grandfather had an El Camino from uh, 76, I believe, or 77, somewhere in there. 1966 MG MGB. 1930 Ford 1-ton flatbed. 1970 Oldsmobile 442. Uh, 1949 Woolies Overland Jeepster. And a 1956 Ford Crown Victoria. 
It also has farm equipment. Art Porter, Par 1224, 1949 Alice Chalmers C, 1948 Cockshed 30, 1952 International Harvester Farmall Super C, 1941 Oliver 60, and 1949 Alice Chalmers. Okay, our next stop is the world's largest toy museum complex. It has toys from Star Trek, Star Wars, Barbie, G.I. Joe, The Lone Ranger, DC and Marvel superhero figures, Hot Wheels, and Disney. There's also the National BB Gun Museum and the Roy Rogers Collection. Then we have uh, Main Street Lake Cruises on uh, Branson Landing. I went there in 2013. I went on a uh, the Lake Queen, which is a uh, boat to look like a steamboat. Anyway, we went for an hour and a half uh, trip around Lake Tenny Como, and the uh, captain told stories about the Ozarks. Okay, next is the uh, Branson Scenic Railway. You can ride on a 40 mile round trip excursion through the Ozark foothills and tunnels. You learn the history of the area as you cross bridges and trestles. Experience the luxury of rail travel from yesteryear. A rail train, by the way, not a miniature train. The historic 1905 depot in downtown, just a block from west of Lake Tenny Como, is headquarters for the Branson Scenic Railway. The depot houses the administrative offices, the reservation and ticket office, and a gift shop that carries many train items, including a wide variety of Thomas the Trank engine merchandise. Another attraction I've been to, or been on actually, is a Parakeet Pete's Steampunk Balloon. It offers a thorough ride of a balloon ride that is sure to delight everyone in your party with breathtaking 360 degree views of Lake Tain- Como and Branson as it rises above Branson Landing. That's from ExploreBranson.com. Okay, uh, two years ago I went to the uh, Butterfly uh, Palace and Rainforest Adventure. You can uh, see a uh, 3D uh, film in the life of a butterfly step into a mystical rainforest with thousands of free flying butterflies he lost in the Emerald Forest Mirror Maze and breathe the insectarium of incredible creatures. It's one giant palace for one small price. Okay, the place I went to uh, last year and uh, the year before last was uh, Beyond the Lens. It's where uh, technology and entertainment collide. They call it technotainment. One of its features is a fly ride. It's an amazing sensory experience that gives you an immense feeling of flight as you soar over 22 national landmarks. With state-of-the-art technology, you'll feel like you are no longer in a flying theater, but in an environment of natural beauty. There's also a flip zone of throwing bumper cried ride as you're flipping and spinning. And you'll beyond the lens, you'll experience the mysteries of history, engage in family-friendly gaming, two-minute escape rooms, virtual reality games, and an augmented reality scavenger hunt. You can dive into the alien egg ball pit hunt for Bigfoot, capture incredible photo ops like sitting in the Oval Office, hanging out with the royal family, becoming a life-size Barbie doll, G.I. Joe, or taking a selfie on LA's Rodeo Drive. Come experience... Tells, you to, tells us to co-experience technotainment at Branson's Beyond the Lens, or Beyond the Lens Branson. It's from, uh, again, from Explore Branson. And they got uh, all kinds of stuff there about uh, pop culture, technology, and the paranormal. Because they can uh, hunt for Bigfoot. There's also uh, stuff about UFOs and JFK assassination conspiracy theories. I've also been to uh, the Shepherd of the Hills Inspiration Tower. It stands 230 feet off the ground and gives uh, you a view of the Ozarks as well as all of Branson. It was opened in 1989 to celebrate the 100th birthday of author Harold Bell Wright who wrote the uh, novel The Shepherd of the Hills which was uh, made into a movie in the uh, 40s starring a very young John Wayne. In fact, I watched it uh, last year. 
I also played a miniature golf at Grand Country Indoor Mini Golf. I don't remember what score was. Another uh, new attraction is uh, Wonderworks. It's an amusement park for the mind with 48,000 square feet of edutainment. It combines education and entertainment with more than 100 hands-on exhibits that challenge the mind and spark the imagination. And the building is upside down, by the way. It offers exhibits on American innovation, Route 66, the history of the uh, Branson and the Ozark area, and geography, the uh, nation's military, and uh, special exhibits in partnership with Webster's Dictionary and the U.S. Army. It also features Ozark, a collection of young artists from Missouri and Arkansas. And I've been to uh, Ripley's a few times. I've also been to the Ripley's in Grand Prairie a few times. I went back in the uh, there uh, last summer, actually. It's the only place where you'll find shrunken heads, a uh, 22-foot-tall car parts robot like a Transformer. It's on the outside. Yeah, an authentic uh, vampire killing kit. One-of-a-kind artwork. Tons of hands-on interactives and a wicked spinning vortex tunnel. I've been through that. You can enjoy eight galleries of... But it's an ever-changing collection of over 450 unique artifacts, unbelievable art, crazy illusions, and wacky interactives. Another place I've been to is the uh, Mirror Maze. It's the uh, world's first indoor corn maze. And legend says that uh, some mayors, maze goers never return. I did, even though I had to go through it two times. I've also been to the uh, theme park Silver Dollar City. It's a uh, 1880s theme park in the heart of the Ozark Mountains. It's uh, filled with uh, craftsman work, through only roller coasters and attractions in the treetops, live shows, and seasonal festivals that go on from spring till Christmas. And finally, there's the uh, Celebrity Car Museum located in the uh, Dick Clark American Bandstand Theater. You'll find uh, cars like the Batmobile, the uh, DeLorean from Back to the Future, the Jurassic Park uh, RV, cars from Fast and the Furious, uh, Back to the said Back to the Future cars, uh, Kit from Knight Rider, and the Black Beauty from the uh, Green Hornet television show. Well, that's a look at some of the uh, attractions I've been to on in Branson, and uh, that's all for this week's episode of the Chris Show. Be sure to uh, hit the download button, uh, leave a like, a review, or a rating on whichever. Uh, uh, platform you listen to this on. We're on uh, Spotify, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, and iHeart. The Chris Show is written, produced and written and hosted by Chris Carlisle.